Hello guys, this is Bree, Rights to Rights Ambassador. How are you? I know, long time no speak, and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get to you guys as much as I would like to, but I've been traveling a lot lately. I know that you had some questions for me, and so today I wanted to take the time and answer all of them. I hope that you guys are well, and you get a seat, and you sit down, and, and we can get to it. <laughs> My first question comes from Abina, and Abina wants to know, how old am I? Abina, I am 25 years old. Well, I'll be 25 in about five days. I'm 24 and a half-ish, quarter, almost 25-ish. <laughs> My birthday is April 26, 1985, and actually today is April 21st. So my birthday is in five days. I'll be 25 years old, and no, for modeling that is not old, just in case you were thinking it. And I am very excited to be turning 25, might I add. <laughs> My next question comes from Amina. Hi, Amina. And Amina wants to know where I'm from. Amina, I am from New York City. I was born and raised in Harlem, New York, which is a part of the borough of Manhattan. So we call it Uptown. Uptown is Harlem, so I'm an Uptown girl. My next question is from Kwame. Hi, Kwame. Kwame wants to know if I have a boyfriend, and if I do, what does he think about me being a model? First off, Kwame, how are you? <laughs> and why are you asking me if I have a boyfriend? Um, no, I, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm single, and I am single because it's really difficult to stay focused for me when I'm in a relationship. You know, because you want to be home with that person. So I decided not to be in a relationship right now and just to focus on my career. However, when I choose to be in one, I would hope that the person I choose to be with is very understanding and kind and, and considerate of my schedule, my traveling, and my passion, which is modeling. Anita wants to know who's my role model. Anita, I have so many role models, but I'll try to shorten them to my top favorites. <laughs> um, I love Maya Angelou because I think that she's an incredible writer, and I love to read, and I also love to write. You know, my writing's for myself, but I love to write, and I think that writing is such an amazing way to express emotions on paper. My other role model and my mentor is Tyra Banks, and... Um, the reason that I chose Tara Banks as a role model is because I think she just wears so many different hats and wears them so well. She, she's professional, she studies and, and researches each career path she chooses and it shows in her work. When she was a model, she was the best model. She was a supermodel. When she did a talk show, she had one of the best talk shows out. And now that she's going into production, I know that She'll, she'll produce amazing movies because whatever she does, she puts her best foot forward and it shows. It always shows in her work. Now, Mercy asks, in Ghana, there's a lot of pressure to do jobs like nursing, being a doctor, a lawyer, etc. Do you experience that kind of pressure as well? Hmm. You know, I don't. Um, my family is really supportive of the career path that I've chosen and you know they push me and they want me to be the best that I can and reach my fullest potential in the career that I've chosen because it, it's what makes me happy and it's what I'm passionate about so me no I don't feel that however I know a lot of people whose families don't necessarily think that modeling is a legitimate career they don't think that it's stable enough to put so much into it but ultimately mercy you're the only one who has to live your life and you need to be happy with the decisions that you make and so whatever you choose to do and whatever career you want to strive to do the best and be the best in just do it and don't worry about that pressure because that pressure will always be there You'll have enough pressure to be the best when you choose the career that you love. You don't need outside pressure telling you what you should and shouldn't be doing. So for me, no, I don't feel pressure necessarily from others telling me that I should be a doctor or a lawyer or a nurse or any other career. But I, I put pressure on myself to be the best at what I chose for myself. Abina. Hi, Abina. <laughs> Abina asks... 
What advice do I have for people who want to be models? Most importantly, what I would love to tell you if you want to pursue modeling as a career is you have to research. Whether it's modeling, whether it's acting, whether whatever you want to do, you need to research. Just like when you go to college and you declare a major, you are researching and learning about something that you want to choose as a career path. Modeling is the same way. I would suggest you go online, find out, look online, see different magazines, watch television, and really look at these women and see what type of model you're interested in being. Is it high fashion? Is it commercial? Is it catalog? What is it? What do you, what type of modeling do you want to do? Hi guys, it's Bree, the ambassador for Rights to Rights Foundation. And actually right now I'm on the plane from New York City on my way to Chicago, Illinois for work. Figured I'd see what's going on with you guys, answer some more questions, and, and just spend a little time with you. And I know I have a question from Abina who wanted to know what is it that I'm going to do after modeling? I think that is an amazing question because <laughs> people don't really ask that enough. Um, Abina, you know, after modeling, I'd love for. I'd love to get the opportunity to do journalism and corresponding on a full-time level. I'd love, in a perfect world, my, my goal, and hopefully I'll be able to accomplish it one day, is to have a live broadcast where I can talk to the youth and kind of see where your head's at and what you want to do with your life and kind of help you build a plan so that whatever you intend to do, whatever profession you choose, you, you know how to get there and, and you have a, whether it's a short term or long term goal on how to get to that career of your choice. And if I could do that in a way where we could set it up maybe like a talk show or even a more intimate environment where we'd have groups and maybe it'd be recorded and put it on live television and we can talk about it so that we can help people and young kids all over the world try to find what they want to do with themselves in the future and, you know, talk about self-esteem issues and, and things of that nature. I think that would really, that would be wonderful. And I would leave modeling to help youth any day. So um, those are, that's something that I really would like to do after modeling is over. And you know what, who knows? Maybe one day I'll be a professor at a, a college or, a, or maybe just a writer and write about all of these experiences that I've had the last six years from America's Next Top Model to traveling all over the United States, all over the U.S., all over the United States, all over the country, um, who knows, you know? I'm just kind of taking life as it comes at this point. So my next question is from Sandra, and Sandra wants to know, now how much longer do I think I'll be modeling for? Sandra, I'm not really sure of the time that I'll, I'll retire from modeling, However, I know that for me, there are other things that I want to accomplish with my, my life and I don't want to necessarily be a full-time model forever. But <laughs> modeling has been really good for me these last six years and I've, I've watched myself grow and my pictures grow and you know now I'm starting to see you know what categories work for me the best and where I make my most money and I'm just really excited to see where my career of choice right now takes me so no I don't think that I'll quit anytime soon however I know that I won't do it forever I hope that answered your question um, so my next question is from Rita and Rita wants to know what is the hardest thing about being a model models are whiny we complain a lot <laughs> really have a very carefree life though. Um, the one thing that I do say is very difficult about being a model is reinventing yourself every day, every month, every six months, every year. You don't want to be that same person because you don't want to be that same face, that same person all the time because what happens is you kind of get lost. You get lost in a crowd, you get lost in a group of people who look the same as you and people start to only see you one way me it's very difficult to go to a casting every day because it's almost like going on a job interview every single day for the rest of your life. There's no stability, there's no guarantee where your next paycheck will be or 
you know, um, what your next booking, which is a job, that's when you've landed the job, when that'll come, there's just no guarantee. And sometimes I can get really tiring for me. Some days I just want more stability. Did I answer all of you guys' questions today? Well, I hope so. Remember, listen, one of the main things that I want to tell you guys is that you have a right to your rights. No matter what they are, no matter what your goals are, no matter what your morals and your values are, you have a right to them. And nobody can take that away from you. So if there's anything you get out of all of these questions and answers that we do and the more time we get to spend together and we get to know each other, just know that you have to live your own life and ultimately you have to be happy with the decisions that you make in life. You have a right to all of your rights and use them. Yeah. <laughs>